Hey everyone, this is a quick video update. I just wanted to share some uh, cool things related to uh, Olama and Llama 2 and all the latest developments. I started playing with Olama last night and I was really impressed with how quickly uh, you can get up and running. But I also want to show you how you can set up an actual uh, UI and get up and running with, with your local GPT. So at the end of the day, you will end up with something like this where you'll have a full UI that allows you to basically chat with Llama 2. Llama code, let's just get right into it. Um, so the first thing that you have to do is download uh, Olama. Just, just go to olama.ai, uh, pick your operating system, Mac OS, Linux, or Windows. And once you are done installing that, we can go right into the GitHub page. So let's just go here to GitHub. Um, and we're going to scroll down to read the instructions on how this works. I already have it installed, so I'll just open my terminal here. So once Olama is installed, you can easily, well, let's see, let's use the helper come out here. You can easily pull images uh, or models basically uh, with a single command. So let's say that we want to <clears throat> pull <clears throat> Llama 2. All you have to do is type on the command line, Olama pull Llama 2. And this will take a few minutes uh, depending on your internet connection. But once you are done, uh, you have Llama ready to work with uh, in your computer. Now this will do two things. Olama allows you to interact with it. Okay, so let's just go ahead and run Olama. So we'll do Olama run Llama 2. And there we have it. We can now talk to it. So we'll just say hello. And there it is. It says, hello, nice to meet you. Is there something I can help you with? What's your name? Now, as you can see, it's really fast. Uh, and I'm on a MacBook Pro M1 computer. So it's able to actually work quite fast. One thing that I did is that I was actually able to turn this laptop into a Llama server with an API uh, and use it as my main server, basically, to interact with Llama 2. So whenever I'm using the computer, I can just connect to the server that I'm running on this computer. And I'll probably walk you through that entire process and entire setup later on. But let's just get to this part first. So we can talk to it. You know, I can say my name is Dan. Nice to meet you, Dan. What's my name? Cool. Why is the sky blue? OK, amazing. So we can just exit the command prompt by, by typing slash by. And there you have it. So now we have Llama 2 in our computer running in less than five minutes, really. Now, you can also pull all their images. Uh, there is, uh, if we go back to the GitHub page, you will see all the models that are available. So they do have you know, Llama <clears throat> 7 billion characters, uh, 13 billion characters, and 70 billion characters. The 70 billion one is probably not going to run on your computer uh, just because of the, of the size of it. But there is another one that is really cool, which is called uh, Code Llama. Uh, and, and this one is actually great for coding. Uh, so we'll just give that a try really quick. Let's clear this. So we'll do Olama run Code Llama. So if you do Olama run Code Llama, which is the name of the image, what it will do, it will download the image for you automatically if you don't have it, and, and that's it. So it's ready. Again, less than a minute, probably, you can get up and running uh, once the image uh, is downloaded. Probably a little longer once you download like the large uh, images uh, for Llama 2. Um, so now we have uh, Code Llama available on the computer. So we'll just tell it to create a Tailwind application. No, actually, let's create a Node Express API that has three endpoints with some basic examples of how it works and also and also pm2 instructions let's just say that okay so there it is it's giving us now the code of course to how to set up the express application how to set up three different endpoints that it just made up and then it goes through the explanation on how to set up a pm2 an actual ecosystem file on pm2 and how to run that as a service in your computer, like that quick.
And this answer is as good as ChatGPT uh, 3.5, very close to four. So it's just incredible the, the amount of information that you can get from this free open source model that you can use commercially or you can use however you want, basically. Let's go ahead and exit this. And let me give you a quick demo now of how this looks on the UI. And for the UI part, uh, there is there is this uh, UI uh, that I'm using, and uh, it is called Unstaged. Let me just tell you really quick about it. You can go to github.com forward slash Jorge Menjivar slash, and basically this UI allows you to start a new conversation here, but also it allows you to configure templates for system prompts for your models. And if you go to the right side here, it's not just going to work with Llama, it's, it's actually allowing you to work with Google and traffic, Llama, or even OpenAI uh, API. So if you go to settings here, you can actually set up your OpenAI API uh, or your Google API key, and you can communicate with OpenAI um, directly from here or Llama 2 if you're running you know, an API, uh, a Llama 2 API yourself. Now, this is really cool because now the conversations are not stored uh, on their servers. They're stored basically on your database. Let me go back here. Getting started. Okay, so if you click on the Getting Started link, you will go through the steps of setting up uh, a Supabase uh, table, basically, uh, then configuring some authorization providers so that you can actually log in uh, to the application. Um, and the way that it works is that I'm going to sign out here really quick. So when you first install the application, uh, it will have two options. The first option is to sign in with an email. It could be a whitelisted domain name, for example, your name at company.com. And you say any email with this particular uh, domain name can access this. Or you can also uh, set up you know, a provider such as Google. Um, so if you do have a Google workspace uh, configured with your domain name, uh, then you can say only people in my workspace can log in. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and say log in with Google. I'm going to set up my email. And there you go. I'm logged in. And I can start a conversation here. So I'll just say hello. And this is basically the same that we were doing on the CLI. The only difference is that we are communicating via the API endpoint that Olama is exposing. Now, I am running that API on my machine right now with uh, PM2. Basically, it's a background process. And I did configure an actual DNS entry in my local computer via Cloudflare to expose this uh, with SSL to the internet, basically. And I'm planning on going in detail uh, next time and actually doing a full guide on how you can get this UI up and running. But in the meantime, you can go ahead and get started by just going to uh, the documentation uh, from Unsage and just follow along. And if you do have any questions, just join the Discord channel that they have. I'm also in there if you have any questions and basically go from there. Now, quick background though on on this uh, particular version, if you go at the bottom, you'll see that, of course, it was done with Next.js, Supabase, and also the chatbot UI. So this is it is based on the chatbot UI. The thing with the chatbot UI, though, as you can see, this is like a very popular UI for connecting with different models, is that this UI currently it has more than 355 open issues and more than 108 pull requests. So it looks like it's not getting any updates anytime soon. It has a lot of issues, a lot of changes that people you know, wanna, wanna make. Uh, so for me, I decided that it would be a better uh, option just to go with Unsage and contribute to this repo instead. So I just pushed a few changes yesterday that actually fixed the Olama model to work properly. It was not working. Uh, so it just started working. As of yesterday is the first time that it, it actually got it to work. And I'm also uh, submitting a few other changes that are going to improve uh, the memory or the way that the history is handled with Olama 2 in this UI, basically. Yeah, just stay tuned. 
I think within a few days, this is going to be a pretty solid alternative. Uh, if you don't want to pay for ChatGDP and you want to actually run open source on your machine or any other ideas that you might have in there. Let's just go back here to the actual bot here and let's just talk a little bit <clears throat> because I, I do want to demo some of the other things that you can do with it. So I can just say, oh, my name is Dan. Why is the sky blue? And there you see it. So it's answering pretty fast. Now I also have installed the Olama code model. So I can also test that in here. Uh, so I'll say, I'll start a new conversation this time. <laughs> And I'll say, create a simple express API example with a <clears throat> static HTML file that uses Tailwind. So we'll give it a little of a, of a bigger challenge here. Okay, it is creating in this case a React application, also an express server with Tailwind. Okay. So there is a simple HTML website, some CSS, the server that is going to serve that index, that HTML page, and then a way to run it. So this looks mostly good. The only thing that I will say that it didn't do good with is that I don't think we need to have a React application in this case. You can just do an aesthetic, simple HTML page, but this is good enough. You can always tweak the prompt and make it a little better. Okay, so on the next video, or just let me know if you guys are interested. Okay, so I think I'll make a video uh, next where I can actually show you how to configure the front end UI step by step, uh, and then how you can actually configure it with Cloudflare, you know, expose your Olama API to the external world. You can run it locally, of course, but what if you want to publish it to a website? So we'll do that as well. And, and then I'll just, that video will probably take a good hour. So yeah, just let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Please subscribe. I think that will be extremely helpful and motivating to continue making more videos. But the goal here uh, is to create a community where we can make AI accessible to everyone. Uh, and really, I think that open source is catching up really fast to very advanced models that can compete with the more uh, expensive ones that are available out there. So stay tuned. I think uh, we're going to make a lot more videos. There's a lot of content that we want to share uh, and, uh, and then we'll, we'll see you soon. Bye. Thank you.